Hi students, we are studying our chapter 7, Air Around Us. In the last class, we discussed the qualities of air. Today, we are going to learn uses of air. Do you know, air helps us to do many things. Air helps us to dry clothes. We also need air to blow out candles. Air helps us to fly kites. We use air to fill up footballs and tires of cars, buses or bikes. Air helps us to move things such as a sailboat. And the most important one is plants and animals breathe. Air. Without breathing air, plants and animals cannot live. Isn't These are the uses of air. Can you say it once more? Try to say the uses of air. Yes. We need air for breathing. Air helps us to dry clothes. We need air to blow out candles. Air helps us to fly kites. We use air to fill up footballs and tires of cars. Buses or bikes. Air helps us to move things such as a sailboat. Okay, very good. Students, clean air is an essential thing for us. Breathing clean air is good for us. Plants and trees help in keeping the air fresh and clean. Breathing dirty air is bad for us. It can make us ill. Do you know how does the air become dirty? Smoke from cars, buses, bikes and factories makes the air dirty. Breathing the dirty air is bad for us because it can make us ill. So, breathing clean air is good for us. Plants and trees help in keeping the air fresh and clean. So, to make our air clean, we want to plant more trees because trees and plants help in keeping the air fresh and clean. Yes, you can feel the difference of breathing air by roach. Breathing air in a roach and the air in the park Yes, in the park there are many trees, but in the road there may have smoke of vehicles, so we can feel the difference, isn't it? Plants and trees help in keeping the air clean, so we should plant more plants and protect them. Okay, so students, in our today's class, we discussed uses of air and the importance of clean air. Hope all of you understood this. Thank you.